to start and to kick off um, AI and ML in, uh, in robotics is to start producing data. And to do that, our most powerful computer we have is our brain, right? This is autonomous robots doing amazing things. And there's a big chasm here. And what's missing is real world scenarios, real world data, how ideas become tasks which move us towards AI. AI is supposed to replace jobs, but what if people can control those robots all around the world and keep their jobs? Maybe one person can control 10 robots in 10 different Walmarts. While we move towards AI being autonomous to allow robots to be controlled. So you have a robot and you have a request. Okay, your request gets put into as a task. It gets pushed into Exosphere. A decision happens and it publishes this to AI companies which are partner companies of Synthium that are connected to Exosphere. And it also pushes it to humans, which we call HI. Here's a task. Who has the most confidence they can complete this task? Whoever completes that task gets rewarded. We're putting humans and AI almost against each other, but at the same time working with each other. As the robot is being controlled, all of the data is being stored in a database. And that database can be queried by these AI companies. And when they run simulations, they can reproduce this exact same scenario over and over and over again. The next time you go to ask a question for that robot, this AI system may have learned how to do that. And the more times you and everyone uses Exosphere and continues to train this database, the better that robot can cry out and say, help, I'm stuck. A human can come in, control that robot, and take it over for that last final 10%. And we call that the 10% edge case. So now what's just happened is this request has gone into Exosphere. You can see here it's been picked up by Amin. He's now gonna be able to drive the robot and perform that specific task. There we go, so now you can see that Jeremy's got his drink, how well this task was completed. So was it, a, was it done satisfactory? I think so can answer that question. Uh, timely manner? Yeah, I think he went as fast as he could based upon the speed I did. And then, of course, the confidence and the accuracy of my description. So these answers that I've just provided of actually training an AI in a machine learning database. What we're doing is something new as an ideology that is changing how we're actually working with robotics. We also use this rating system to fuel and feed the reinforcement portion of the machine learning database, as well as we use this rating system to be able to qualify humans. We set up something called the training playground. So on the website for Synthium, under products and Exosphere, you'll find the Exosphere and all the tasks that are currently loaded. Now these three tasks are always going to be there because these are training tasks. And these tasks are special because they're marked internally inside of our system that every time you complete one of these tasks successfully, and actually do it within a timely manner, you will increase your human task rating, which allows companies to be able to choose you as a qualified user to control their warehousing robots or their towel delivery robots in a hotel or their medical delivery robots in a hospital. It doesn't matter what the robot is, the different level of rating is gonna qualify you to be able to control those robots. Controlling a robot that I'm supposed to park into the blue zone. You can actually use a USB joystick if you plug it in as well. In my task I just completed, 31 second session has generated 463 machine vision samples for classification. Our AI company partners can use the identified machine vision images that we've taken from the robot and they can classify them and classify objects and classify various interesting points within the image for navigation. And then you can relate those classified samples to the navigation decisions. So why did I turn left? Why did I turn right? What were my different decisions based on? and they're based on different images that are of interest for the navigation. We almost have a million robot connections in the last year. It doesn't matter what the, the task is. The more information that we can use Exosphere for, the smarter we can get it. The more data we can build, the better it'll become. And then we'll become Synthium as a knowledge base of all of the tasks that will power the robots of the future.